to the Outer Hebrides, or as we say, Fadshire, just like our Irish cousins across the water. This is a remarkable corner of Scotland, the Scotland you know and love, but with an island flavour and a Gaelic sound. A land of pristine white beaches, a land of lochs and mountains, where the ocean and the land in places seem to become one. A land of song and poetry, where Gaelic culture and traditions remain strong. A land of stories that go back 5,000 years. Stories of Viking warriors, stories of ancient people, stories of Jacobite princes and Hebridean heroines. A land of crofting and fishing, with fresh eggs, shellfish straight from the sea and a wee dram now and again, or as we see in Gaelic, chivak. A land with the space to feed your soul. The Outer Hebrides sit in the northwest coast of Scotland. They are a chain of 12 inhabited islands sitting 30 miles into the Atlantic Ocean and stretching for almost 200 miles and home to 27,000 people. Scotland's own language Gaelic, yes that's the one we speak in Outlander, is still widely spoken throughout the islands. You can hear it in bars and churches, on ferries, in shops and crofts. You've already heard a few words in my introduction and if you stay with me you'll hear some more. We'll share with you some songs and stories so that you feel like a local by the time we part. Each island in the Outer Hebrides has its own character. Many of our 12 islands are connected by causeways and bridges, so we only have three landmasses. Barra in the south with Battersea, Uist in the middle with six separate islands all joined together, and Harris and Lewis in the north. One island, two names and a very, very long story. You can fly from Glasgow or Edinburgh in 45 minutes or come by ferry from the mainland in as little as an hour and a half. Barra is the home of Clan McNeil with their home of Kishmill Castle in the middle of the aptly named Castle Bay. They were the most skillful and feared sailors in the Middle Ages during the Kingdom of the Isles era. Eust is one of the places where Gaelic culture is strongest, with wild ponies in the south to welcome you. It has a strong Jacobite linkage and was the first place Bonnie Prince Charlie saw on arriving in Scotland and the last after his defeat at Culloden. Harris is the most mountainous of our islands and some think it meant Highland in an ancient tongue. It gives its name to the famous Harris Tweed worn the world over and every yard still woven by hand in the home of an islander. Lewis is where most people live. It is the home to Scotland's largest stone circle, Callanish, which was Diana Gabaldon's inspiration for Craig Dune in Outlander. So you now know a little bit more about our home, but first we need to get you here. Unlike most holidays, Travel to the islands is not a chore but part of the adventure. Twice a day the flight from Glasgow lands on Barras Mean Beach. It's the only scheduled flight in the world to land on the sand. And no matter how many flights you have taken, there is nothing quite like it. Take a look. It can be a beautiful experience flying over to Barra. The scenery is absolutely stunning. Tourists, when they come off the plane, say, oh, what an experience. That was the best experience of my life. This was fantastic. I'm Janet McLean. I work for Logan Air in Barra, and it's the only scheduled beach landing in the world. Scenery in Barra is absolutely beautiful, stunning. It's so relaxed. It's a very easy way of life. It's a slower pace of life. The people are lovely. They would never not try to help if they could, and that's that's quite unique. Beach walks, bird watching, fishing, anything relaxing, Barra is the place to be. In all my years in the airport, 
I have had so many people come in for a weekend who then a year later come back and the following year they're back again and 35 years later they're still coming back because they enjoy it so much. If you want to visit any of the Scottish islands, they're all worth visiting, but without a doubt, Barra is by far the best. If you prefer, you can take one of the McBrain's ferries with their famous red funnels that have been taking islanders to and fro across the Minch for almost 200 years. They are as much part of island life as crofting, and there is a saying that goes, and to the Lord belongs the earth and all that it contains, except the cows in Western Isles, where they belong to McBrain's. And we'll see again the men Waiting symbols on their station On the bridge wing and the stair Tying the ropes of generations Bring us home on the sea All the wonders of the world They will never go to get here let's show you around. We invited four friends to make a road trip through the entire length of the Outer Hebrides to show you all there is to see and do. This is their diary. caught up with Neil Robertson at the end of the road trip. He first came to the islands when he was two years old and has been returning regularly all his life. He tells us what he loves about the Outer Hebrides. When we came into Lewis and worked our way down south through Harris, which is my favourite part of the Outer Hebrides. There's a magic about Harris that's always so appealing. Having done the mountain biking in the deep uh, and been looking at the sands of Hushnish for the first night. So we're a little bit tired getting to Hushnish and it's just that fantastic sunset moment. Camping on the beach in one of my favourite beaches in Scotland. But we're horse riding there which was another phenomenal experience. To be on horseback to get that different perspective of, of the beaches was just incredible. After that it was, it was jumping straight in the water. So that was a, a bit of a shock for everybody I think. And heading out to the coast of Kissimmee Castle. Gorgeous place, absolutely stunning and then working our way back to the west coast to swim with seals, to have worked our way around the water in the boats. That was really special. Outer Hebrides is somewhere that I've just had a relationship with all my life. So this has been a place that's incredibly special to me. 
it's really Scotland's playground in that sense. It's just unadulterated beauty. The highlight of many people's trips to the Outer Hebrides is a visit to the World Heritage Site of St Kilda, Hursta and Gaelic. It's a further 40 miles out into the Atlantic, beyond the main chain of islands. Years of struggling against illness, isolation and emigration, the remaining 36 residents evacuated their homes on the 29th of August 1930, ending 5,000 years of human habitation. Almost a hundred years later, you can still wander through the village, where men would meet for a daily parliament, and you can also visit the schoolhouse. It is the most poignant of places. Let's take a look. The visitor to St Kilda will be haunted for the rest of his life by this place and tantalised by the impossibility of describing it to those who have not seen it. Now you know your way around, it's time to get you speaking like a local. You've heard some Gaelic words as we've gone through the islands, but now it's time to ramp it up a gear and join a Cayley and hear it. We're going to join Callum and a few friends for a Cayley. If you've heard the word, you may know it as a quite a formal dance. But in Gaelic, Cayley simply means visit, and on the islands, Callum explains it's just friends getting together to play music, sing a song, and share some stories, often long into the night. Slancho. Hick of a Cayley. Shinna Han Shinna's Gaelic, near Hashinner's son's can cheek kitchen, a hurl on. In Jew, Smenichi Moran at Cayley, Marut Karan Firmo. Stock will draw in you can accurate dance on a class fours. Machlehen, go alive, have each of you. A kashimpli, shakeli clinical gurney. Go loran, barstock, a gain to skill locking. I guess, katrikan on tehen gurney? No, ta change. Johnny, come on out. Hey, good oil, hey. Ah, good oil, hey. My hey. Johnny, you have a couple of kilo 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 Ha, was a good to make some of the show. How hulled in your clay vessel in a feep, Gaharich, as far as you chase machine, Dunan, Harish in the Tilgen, Aha, Dunya Metal, Antonia Click of Oxa, Dunya Click of Eep, Dunya Click of Neil, Antonia Shine, as the Shin, Hanayu Tai, a noish, Nahir Missal in a Gaola show. Exchequer Kutsmaks and a Klinikian show at the Viga, Nyostok Nagalikin show. Ha, the Viga was a good to make Hanitsa, Rutan Markeli and the Sutton. Maar zijn is zo'n zo'n hoogkrik. Ik wil dat aan de zoeigheid van de wereld mongoers die in tradition eigenlijk is erin gaan en als je als je toch speelt dan gaan er gaan en de vrossen er gaan heen. Eigenlijk, ah, misschien moet je niet zo goed over zo'n kutter gaan houden. Woo! Joel, Corrie, eigenlijk is krak, Shinaku Kelly. As well as music, family and kinship is a crucial part of Gaelic culture. 
in Gaelic it's known as Cartas. From these islands people have left for the four corners of the world. Between 1750 and 1900 over 20,000 people left the Outer Hebrides, particularly for Canada but also for the United States, New Zealand and Australia. Some chose to leave for a better life, others had no choice. Even when Gaels are far from home, their links to the island stay strong, with a huge sense of what we call Kianalis, which means something between homesickness and belonging. Over a game of chess, Callum chats in Gaelic about the waves of emigration over the years, while overlooking Buig Bay in Lewis, the site of many departures. Coalition. Shin Kish Hudis Moran as Nahilin and Osh as a Hir Tolamach. A Hane Mivo Gahasha, Samha Uyaka on it. A Karshis Glehutramachan Shaw, Marishan Pler, Shech Chiro Slunny and Avishok, Klechud Moran, Enemin Sheen Shiro Kuchok, Marishan Pler, Smisha Kalamach Gilehen. A Hurtera Kuchok give me Kalam, Ruri, Yomai and Ochan. Kersonaha Slonjadok, I guess, Echli Choli, how Kutumok got in your show. Maraha Fisagata, Slonjadok, Gong Alec, Novas of Kutumok, the Union, the Dunyas and Anigus, Kamakain, and the Dunyas and Anigus, the Loragagat, and the Jiffer Ginyoka. Cholakam Heen, Edivishov for in the sixteen nineties. I guess I'm kind of Cholakam Heen in America, too, America, Jess, Castralia. I guess she. As well, Hadunia Scapic Fat is farshing a root canal and a hat tall of Dunia Irash, a count of Horkinon. Mahawe Fala for the Holo for the Haridina gets for Natia, she, Shinikil Kionalis, Shinifakal Ganagan. A card is a guess Kionalis, da Fakal Gadidu Kutumakum, a bit tich. I've been thinking Alex Coulter and Gail, I guess, I guess, no, I hacked it, faking and hurl. I can't talk about Rutgadidu doing on the Dunya, the Shisho, a good car, you know, so I can't lodge it at the Dunya, I guess, and that is Nanigan. Chanel Kesch, Gwil and Crew Chira, it's Nashalian and Shaw Chirach Ed Lay. A has no Dunya. At it, Yolis, Ertri, Karjus, a Gleag, I guess, a shin. This process of migration continues today. Meet Katie McLeod, the Outer Hebrides Ambassador to New York, raised in Lewis and living in the Big Apple. You can follow her blog about the Outer Hebrides and other amazing travel destinations around the world at storiesmysuitcasecouttel.com And so, Harajan, dear friends, now you've got the hang of the Gaelic, it's time to part. We hope to see many of you in our special corner of Scotland in the future. Many Gaelic songs are about parting or separation, and this one from South Uist is one of the best. Peggy Agarai, Peggy My Love, sung here by Trail West, is a love song sung by a sailor en route to Australia, promising to return to his beloved Peggy. And so, as we say here, Hikiachi, Mersin Live and Dust. Come home and bye for now. Thanks for listening. Oh, 